So recently discovered something, I wanted to put it out right away because, well, for me, it has to do with my health. And I think if you drink water, it has to do with yours as well. So I recently stumbled upon a video and I'll show you in a little bit, um, has to, having to do with Berkey. So I've been using uh, Berkey for a couple of years now. And I started out with this little guy here. This is a small, like one um, charcoal filter. And the problem is that it takes forever for water to be filtered. And I drink a lot of water. So it, was, it just wasn't fast enough. So what I did, is I got a larger Berkey filter and I've had this uh, dedicated to using it for the last year and I've been really happy with it. Until recently, you know, I started to feel like the, the charcoal element wasn't adhering to this very well. And so what was happening, I feared, is that the water was seeping in. So I started to poke around a little bit. Well, when I did, I just discovered this one guy, who I'll show you in a little bit, who kind of is blowing the lid off of Berkey's claims, which aren't when you look, aren't as solid as you might think. I have nothing against Berkey. I have no affiliation with the guy. And uh, all of what you see here is basically my own setup, my own results. There's nothing scientific to it. So I have uh, nothing uh, to say against Berkey, but I am feeling like I needed to make a change. And one of the reasons was my own fault. Now, what I was doing is I wasn't testing. Now, I used to live in a spot where uh, we had our own water supply and our water was being tested all the time. So I don't know why I wasn't doing my own testing, but I wasn't. I just felt like, ah, Berkey's gonna work. If I started to taste it off, maybe I'd change the filter or I'd just look at the time. Most people are really bad at about changing the filters. Well, um, more recently, I had this little guy here uh, to test my water and I found some surprising results. Now, before I tell you that though, I wanted to show you one thing, which is uh, basically this right here. This is an MSR filter, and this is what I use when I go hiking. Now, this is just gonna be, you know, for bacteria, it takes water directly out of a river or whatnot, and it's gonna be a different category of filter. I'm not gonna use the same filter when I'm taking water out of the faucet. It's just, they're different filters, they have different purposes. There's a lot to water filters, but the basic categorization is, you know, when you go hiking or versus when you get the water out of your tap. I'm gonna show you something here. And what's cool about this is, it basically shows you the average quality of water. And there'll be a link in the description where you can put in your zip code and you can see what yours is. But don't go there just yet. I've got a couple things and then, you know, you can, you can see all of it. But Basically what this does is it says, okay, what's the water quality of this particular state on average? And based on that water quality, that's how long your filter would basically last. Because if your water quality is really bad, your filter is not going to last as long as if you have better water quality. So for example, in Oregon, where I was before, they have pretty good water on average. And so I'd get out of the filter, the new filter that I got, which I'll show you in a little while, I'd get 40 gallons or more per filter contrast that to where I am now in the Southwest, and it's the worst ever. And you only get eight gallons of water or less from your water filter. That means your water filtration is much more expensive depending on where you live and your water quality. Obviously these are averages, and of course you'll have uh, different segments that are you know better and worse and so on, but it gives you some idea. Now, so what I did, and I said, okay, well, if that's true, why don't I go ahead and pre-filter it with something like this? This is a RV water filter. And I thought, okay, it doesn't do the greatest job, but it does something. So by filtering it, pre-filtering my water with this, then I can expect my filter water life expectancy to be greater because I've moved my average water quality up a bit. So that's a nice little hack you can do. Um, these don't, these filter somewhat, but I wouldn't use them obviously as your only filter. It's a good pre-filter though. So this little hack, a quick insert. If you're really into water, I have a link in the description. It brings you to a website that'll basically show you where you can get uh, spring water directly. And that's much more, the water's structured, alive. And if you delve into water, you'll see how our processing is usually deadening water. And the more often you can get real live structured water, the better off you're gonna be. Just a quick answer. Now there's this guy that has this four part video series and he goes into um, his experience with Berkey water filters and there is a class action lawsuit against 
Berkey right now challenging them in court. I contacted New Millennium Concepts, the Berkey company. I also contacted the lab that did the tests for Berkey that Berkey displays on its website. The lab, which on the title of the results says tested to standard NSF 53, wrote back and said, well, we tested all of the contaminants listed to 200 gallons and we tested lead, this heavy metal, to 2,000 gallons. So the results you see on that test results page, those, that, that's what we tested. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, 2,000 gallons is not 3,000 gallons, and 200 gallons is very much not 3,000 gallons. I'm not going to delve into any of that. Um, there is a link in the description. Before you go to watch that, though, I do have a couple more things to show you that I think will be a benefit. So don't just rush to that video right away. But it is one you'll want to watch if you have a Berkey filter. So anyway, the claims are being challenged from Berkey, which when you look at their website, isn't too hard to do. That aside, when I found a filter that I wanted to use, it came with this nice little uh, tester. Now, caveat is that, of course, if the tester is coming from the company, you know, you, you, it's not an independent test or anything like that. But it gives you some idea of your water quality. It gives you an idea of when to replace your filter and so on. What I found interesting is when I filtered the tap water without this filter, and then with this filter, and then with the Berkey, and then with the new water filter. And of course, the new water filter had zero, meaning it had no particulates in it. It was a full filtration system. Other people have done testing, you can see on YouTube, elsewhere, and so on. But the whole idea is, it's very interesting to see and test on a regular basis your water, no matter where you're at, and different times of the year, and so on and so forth, because water quality is always going up and down, depending on what's happening you know, around you in your environment and so on. So very good thing to have that you can test on a regular basis. That said, it's not really that accurate, scientific or not, but it gives you some idea. So I'll be using this on a regular basis. But I did want to show you my numbers, which I'm going to show on the screen here, uh, the numbers that I got from the different results that I had. So all the different results, which I just mentioned, I'll show on the screen here. Now, okay, I'm going to show you what I got, okay? So this is the new filtration system. It's uh, called Zero, and I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. And I have to say, I just got this and started using it, which I really uh, like, but I have no idea of the longer term results. But it, uh, the water itself tastes pretty good. Yeah, I have to say my Berkey was starting to taste kind of interesting, but my time with filtration was not. I even have a set of backup filters, which those are expensive. And despite the Berkey filters being expensive, the zero filters are even more expensive. I mean, if you take into account and calculate how long a filter will last, you can see, I mean, like four of them are going to cost you about 60 bucks, depending on the market at the time. That's uh, expensive. If you consider it only lasts like eight gallons or less if you live in a particular state, which is why uh, pre-filtering with something inexpensive, these last like three months, um, is good to do. It's also why I'm looking forward to getting back to the Pacific Northwest, where generally the water quality is much better than down here. Um, that may happen sooner or later, who knows. But I do find some sort of testing uh, seriously beneficial and I'm pretty happy to have good water quality again. I'm not saying anything against Berkey. I'm just saying for now, if you look statistically at what's probably in your water on a regular basis, which you know, obviously you shouldn't be drinking tap water directly, always want to filter. Um, if you look at what's probably in there on average, yeah. If the Berkey filter isn't doing its job, then your health is at risk. And I don't want my health to be at risk, so I'm just gonna go with something different for a while, and I'm gonna keep doing testing, and I'll keep researching, and I'll share with you at different points along the way what I figure out and decide and so on. So far, the zero has been very, very good. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to check out that guy's video. Four part, mini, four part series um, is really uh, kind of eye-opening. So thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.